This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at how I'm storing my pencils. Now, this is a work in progress. I've been using um, this little Lehigh Lab case. This has been working pretty good for me until I started collecting pencils. This was just where I stored my pencils. Now, we'll say some of the nicer ones I've got up here and that I didn't want just bouncing around. It's got two compartments. A little compartment up here where you can clip in pencils. You can do the same thing over here. And then just loose stuff on this side with some little net pockets. Now, some of my nicer pencils I have over here, but I'm, I'm still not real crazy about this because I've got some pencils with knurling and I don't want them rubbing up against other pencils and scratching them. So I'm still on the lookout for something to use for my drafting pencils that have knurled grips, but everything else I'm, I'm comfortable keeping in this. On this side, I've got just everyday pens, pencils, erasers, my pencil leads, but I didn't want to throw my pencils I'm collecting in with all those, so I picked up one of these Neocrits um, pencil cases that also you can set on your desk and it's a pencil stand. So let me get together what all I'm going to be putting in here. I'm going to be putting these I've got some Zebra Dell guards and a Kurutoga, Uni Kurutoga. I've also got an everyday Zebra Dell guard. And let's see, my everyday Kurutoga. Before I, I got this one years ago before I even knew, you know, what was special about a Kurutoga. I've got an eraser that I got from one of my kids that they didn't use, but I wanted something a little nicer looking, so I recently picked this up, so I'm gonna put this stuff in here. And my softer leads that I bought <coughs> extra that didn't just come with pencils. My leads that came with pencils, I'll leave in here, except for this one came with my Kuru Toga. I'll go ahead and put it in here. These are a little bit nicer lids. Now this, you can either unzip it from the top if you're just wanting to reach in and grab a pencil. See, it stays connected down here. But the reason this caught my eye is you can unzip it, unzip it from the bottom. And now this is kind of padded just slightly padded. I I was expecting it to be a little bit more like the outer material on this. If you've ever used one of these, this is a pretty thick material, but it's actually more like the interior material. If you want to have an idea of what this material is like, it's pretty it's pretty lightweight. I was surprised at how lightweight it is. And I'm not sure what this is in here supporting this, but it, I wouldn't want to smash it and crease it. So, you know, depending on how heavy the stuff is in your book bag will depend on how comfortable I would be throwing this in a book bag. I'll probably be throwing it in a purse, and I think it'll be perfectly fine for that. But the way I intend to use it is you can fold the top down isn't that clever? And just put your pencils in. You've got a nice pencil stand. You've got a little pocket in the front for your pencil lids. And when you're done, just zip it back up. I've had my eye on this for a long time. They come in all kinds of different colors. And I just didn't really have a reason to buy another pencil case. But now that I've got these, what I call my pencil collection, now I've got a reason to use this. All right. I really like this. 
If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.